Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to show you an all-in-one tool for your iPhone to manage your content using any Windows PC or Mac in a very easy and convenient way without the need to deal with iTunes restrictions and complicated sync settings. The tool I have is called EasyOS Mobi Mover. I will show you how it can help you manage your iPhone's data. I will be using my iPhone 12 Pro Max for this matter. So let's see how good is the Easy US Mobi Mover, but before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. First, to get the best results, it's recommended to turn off iCloud syncing for the data types you want to manage using your PC to avoid any conflicts. And once you are done with the iCloud settings, go ahead and plug your phone to the PC using the USB cable. And as you see, EasyOS Mobi Mover detected my iPhone 12 Pro Max immediately. And on the left side, you have a lot of tabs to choose from. The first one is content management, and this is the one you're gonna use the most. It will allow you to transfer your data from your phone to the PC and the other way around as well. I'm gonna talk about the other tabs later in this video, but let's start with the content management. As you see here, there are a lot of data types that you can manage from here. First, you have audio, you have pictures, videos, others, which will include books and voicemail, you have podcasts, messages, contacts, notes, and apps. Let's take the pictures as an example. When you click on pictures, you have here two choices, either to see the photos stacked on top of each other, or you can also view them in albums. I'm gonna go ahead and click on photos. And as you see here, those are the photos I have on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let me also open the photos app here. And as you see, they are matching. And from here, you can do a lot of things. First, you can add more photos to your iPhone. You can transfer these photos to your PC or delete any photos you don't want. So as an example, I'm gonna delete a couple of photos from here. Hit delete and confirm my choice. And take a look at my iPhone. You will see that two photos are going to be deleted in, in few seconds. Now let's try to add more photos and videos to the iPhone. By tapping on add contents, here I have a folder with photos that I want to transfer to my iPhone. I'm going to select all of them and hit open. And as you see, the transfer process started immediately. And in few seconds, you will start to see the photos appearing on my iPhone. So here are all the photos that I, that I transferred. This is one of them. And they get transferred based on the date. So it respects the date of the photo and it will be added in the correct date on your iPhone. Now let's go back and do the opposite. What if I want to transfer some photos from my iPhone to the PC? So I'm going to multi-select some photos. Here I can multi-select specific days. I have the select all button as well, whatever you want. Then I'm going to tap on transfer to PC. It says here, would you like to change the path if you want to put your photos in a specific folder or you want to go ahead and use that default location. So I'm going to click no for now and keep it for a few seconds to transfer the photos. And now, as you see, I have the view files button. When I click on it, it will take me straight away to the folder. And here are all the photos I transferred from my iPhone to the PC. By now, you should have got a clear idea about how to transfer content between your iPhone and the PC using the EasyOS Mobi Mover. The same process applies to other content as well. It's a very easy and convenient way to manage your iOS data. Now let me show you other tabs. The phone to PC and PC to phone do the same thing as content management, but in a slightly different way. For example, under phone to PC, you can multi-select different data types and transfer all of them to your computer at once if you don't care about modifying your selections. Similarly, under the phone to PC, you can select multiple files or folders and transfer all of them at once. Next, the phone to phone tab. This will allow you to transfer your data between two different iOS devices that will include iPhone, iPad, or iPod. Next, the video downloader tab. From here, you can download videos from the most popular social media websites like Vimeo, YouTube, and Instagram, and so on. Once the download finishes, you will be able to transfer this file from your PC to your iPhone. So I'm going to take one of my YouTube videos as an example. I'm going to hit download. It's now downloading the file. 
Once the download is done, you can get back to the content management page and then go to movies, select the file you want to transfer to your iPhone and it will be available under the TV app. So give it a few seconds and as you see the video is now available, I can play it from my iPhone. Next, the backup manager. And here you can backup your iOS device and restore the data back in case you need to. But the best part here is the ability to choose what to include in your backup. And instead of using iTunes and the backup everything in case if you don't need to. And by this you will save more space on your hard drive. Next, the WhatsApp manager. And here you can backup your WhatsApp data to your computer and restore the data back in case you need to. And I think this tool is very powerful for three reasons. First, you can backup your WhatsApp data on the PC if you don't have enough storage in your iCloud. Secondly, you will be able to restore your WhatsApp chats without the need to use an internet connection. And that will be very useful if your WhatsApp backup is very big. And finally, in case you lost access to your iCloud account, you will be able to retrieve your WhatsApp data back from here. So let me show you how it works on my phone. Here I have my WhatsApp. As you see, I have a lot of chats already. I'm gonna hit backup on my Mobi Mover and wait for the backup to complete. So now I'm done with the backup, let's head back. Let's say I want to restore this backup. When you click restore, you will be able to see the backup right here. So now I'm gonna delete my WhatsApp from the iPhone and reinstall it again. So now I'm gonna skip my restore process and skip restore. Then I'm gonna put my name. So as you see, I don't have any chats on my WhatsApp at the moment. So I'm gonna hit restore on the Mobi Mover. But the iPhone had to restart. As you see here, it's restarting. I'm gonna wait for it to finish and then check my WhatsApp chats one more time. Now my iPhone restarted, let's open WhatsApp. And as you see, all my chats are back again. Now let's talk about the pricing really quick. The app supports Windows and Mac. When you hover your mouse over any of the versions, you will get two options, the free trial and the buy now. You can go ahead and try the free version before making any purchase, but I'm gonna click on the buy now to show you the prices. You can choose between three different plans, monthly, yearly, and lifetime. The prices are 23.95, 29.95 or 69.95 respectively. But if you decided to go with the monthly plan, you can use my special promo code and get $14 discount. So let me show you how it works. Click on buy now under the monthly subscription. Let me convert the currency to dollars. Then I need to check this box to be able to add the promo code. Once I type the promo code and hit apply, the price now is $10.41, which is very reasonable. By the way, all the plans will give you a license to three different computers, just in case you have more than one at home. All the links and the promo code are in the description below. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my review for the EasyOS Mobi Mover. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.